Rudy Johnson was a product of the North Albury Juniors, having commenced playing in North's under 13 side, coached by Laurie Henry and Max Gifford. And it was a good year to start as they went through undefeated that year and won the flag. He would graduate to play thirds for North for two years, commencing as a 15 year old before playing his first senior game for the Hoppers in 1981 at the age of 17 under coach Cole Travaskas. It was 1982 that he established himself as a regular senior player and his top three finish in the Morris Medal in 1983 would be a glimpse of what was to come. He would go on to play 108 senior games for the club, including a memorable year in 1984 where his collection of silverware would swell in what could only be described as a season for the ages. Rudy was an in and under rover, the consummate inside midfielder in today's terms, where he would often be the first North player to get his hands on the ball and would then deliver by hand to the outside mids or by foot to a teammate. And he rarely missed a target. Rudy was also a great kick for goal, but he was also renowned for practicing goal kicking whenever he could. So snapshots at training and practicing goal kicking was a constant for him. It is fair to say he loved to kick a goal. It would be in the 1984 year that he would make an indelible mark for not only North Albury, but on the entire Ovens and Murray competition. The accolade started when Rudy would win the Morris medal as he topped the count to be crowned the best and fairest player in the Ovens and Murray competition for the 84 season. And what a season it was for North Albury. After a tumultuous mid-season off-field financial crisis where its very playing future was in doubt, the club would rally under the coaching of Martin Cross and its new captain Peter Westland to win North's most famous premiership, the 1984 Rags to Riches flag. In a pulsating contest, in a display of sheer guts and perseverance, North would prevail over the Wodonga Bulldogs by three points in a game that was described as one of the all-time great other than Murray Grand Finals. Rudy, of course, would kick the famous winning goal in the dying minutes of the match, having received the ball from third man up Tim Taylor at a ruck contest close to goal all that goal kicking practice at training came to the fore as he snapped truly and that goal would be enough to see the hoppers home to win their fourth ovens and murray flag and earn rudy his coveted premiership medal he would then top off a truly remarkable season by also winning the keith shea medal for being north's best and fairest winner that year the following year in 1985, after initially being signed by St Kilda and then a tug of war between North Melbourne and the Sydney Swans, he would eventually commence to play for the Sydney Swans part way through the season, where he would play three senior games for the Swans before an injury to his knee in his third senior game would end his season. Whilst approached by the Swans to come back for the 1986 year, he decided to stay and play for the Hoppers. North would make the grand final that year, but would go down to Lavington, and whilst Rudy would play in the grand final side, he had had an injury plague season. An injury would again force him to leave the ground partway through the second quarter. His last year for the Hoppers was in 1988, and he would again record a top three finish in the Hoppers' best and fairest count. He would finish his playing career with the Wodonga Raiders, where he played almost 100 senior games. Rudy Johnson, a champion player of the game and a person who, in difficult times for his club, etched his name forever in the history and the folklore of North Albury Footy Club, and he now sits truly as an outstanding inductee into the North Albury Hall of Fame.